Hello guys, welcome to WM Detect. Today we will be reviewing the newest product from Gigabyte, the Oros Liquid Cooler. The Oros AIO comes with 240mm, 280mm, and 360mm, but the one we will be using is the 280mm version. Before that, special thanks to Oros for providing this awesome product. The new Oros AIO is now available on the market. The 240mm version is 9,450 pesos and the 280mm version is 10,560 pesos. In the box, we have our user manual, all the instructions on how you can install the cooler, what CPU bracket to use, and other details about the cooler is there. We also have our ARGB 140mm fans from Oros, and these fans are wind force fans. These fans are special because they have the same technology and design on the wind force cooling technology used on Aorus graphics cards. And those fans have dual ball bearing design for longer lifespan. We also have the screws, brackets, and other mounting tools needed for our AIO. It also comes with a thermal paste from Aorus and of course the Aorus liquid cooler itself. The Aorus liquid cooler has a 60 by 60 mm LCD display with 280 mm radiator. Aorus AIO supports all the latest sockets and the mounting mechanism is really unique. Later on we will discuss that on our installation. Installing the Aorus liquid cooler is really easy. The pump and CPU bracket is quite unique but easy to use. It has a locking mechanism where you can rotate the bracket so you won't have any problem adjusting the pump and you can rotate the display on the LCD via RGB Fusion 2.0. All in all, there's no issue with the installation. All tools needed are easily installed and used. If you are a first timer, you can just follow the installation guide and it's really easy to install the AIO by yourself. And for our temperature test, we will be testing the Oros Liquid Cooler with Ryzen 5 1400, GB AB350 motherboard, and Matrix 55 case. We will test it on stock speed and overclock to 3.9GHz with 1 hour stress test. 
With the 1 hour stress test and using the Matrix 55 with side panel closed, the results are quite good. On stock speed, we can see the results are really good even though the case only has 3 intake fans and two 140mm as exhaust that are attached to the radiator. Idle temps, gaming and max temps doesn't have significant difference compared to Oros ATC 800 air cooler. However, on overclock, we can see the full potential or full power of the Oros liquid cooler 280mm. The Oros AIO manages to maintain below 70 degrees on max load on 3.9 GHz with 1.38 volts, And you can see a significant difference between an air cooler and an AIO in terms of cooling performance on overclocking. Lastly, for the software, so you need to install the Oros engine and RGB Fusion 2.0 to customize certain functions. You will need RGB Fusion 2.0 to set what kind of image or display you want on the LCD like CPU temperatures, fan speed, and Oros logo. Then you need the Oros engine for the details like the text, image, infos for CPU temperatures and fan speed, and other details on the LCD. The only problem I think on Oros liquid cooler is better optimization of the softwares. Whenever I try to rotate the display on the LCD, it's taking too long, like 3 to 5 minutes, just to change the position of the display. Overall, that issue is just me nitpicking, but as for the AIO, I didn't encounter any major issues. In conclusion, the new Oros liquid cooler has a great cooling performance, solid aesthetics and features, and superb quality. However, for its price, we can align the Aorus as a high-end liquid cooler which means it's not for everyone. So if the price isn't an issue and you're an Aorus fanboy, this liquid cooler is highly recommended for you. And that's it guys for our unboxing, installation, and temperature test of the new Aorus liquid cooler 280mm version. If you like this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to support our channel by using our Lazada and Amazon affiliates. Again, special thanks to ours for providing this product. And as always, happy gaming!